Okay, another math video from AlgebraTestHelper.com. And what I'm going to do here is solve this basic uh, linear inequality problem. Okay, so if you take a look at this, uh, this problem, it's 2x minus 6 is less than or equal to 10. So what's the objective when we're solving an inequality problem? Well, um, solving inequalities, the steps we take are very, very similar to the steps we take as if we were solving an equation. But the way we express our answer is generally we're going to use a graph to do that. Okay, So hopefully you're uh, familiar with this. If you're not familiar with uh, linear inequalities, jump over to our site, algebratesthelper.com. You can find a, a ton more information on it. Okay, so what do we do here with this uh, problem? 2x minus 6 is less than or equal to 10. Well, what I want you to do, or kind of, I want you to kind of think of this as the problem, say, 2x minus 6 equals 10. Okay, now this is not an equation problem. It's an inequality problem. But the steps we're going to take, the steps we're going to use, are the, basically the same steps that we would take to solve an equation problem. So if, if you know how to do this, okay, 2x minus 6 equals 10, if you know how to solve that equation, then you'll be okay with inequalities. However, if you struggle solving equations, then you really need to correct that before you take a um, closer look at inequalities. Okay, so for the time being, in your mind's eye, when you see this equation symbol, you can kind of maybe substitute, I mean, excuse me, when you see this inequality symbol, you can kind of substitute an equation symbol if that, you know, helps you. All right. So 2x minus 6 is less than or equal to 10. So the first thing I want to do is I want to proceed as if I was solving for x. So I'm going to add 6 to both sides of the equation. Okay. And that's going to get me 2, let me write that a little bit better. 2x is less than or equal to 16. Okay. So to solve for x, all I need to do is divide 2 by both sides of the equation. And I get x is less than or equal to 8. Okay, so I'm basically done. Okay, I got x is less than or equal to 8. So this would be an acceptable answer. But more often than not, we like to write our, um, we like to express the solutions to an inequality on a graph. Okay, on, usually like a number line. All right, so you can think of this as a basic number line where this is 0, this is 1, this is 2, etc. Okay, so this is a... Uh, a real number line. Okay. All right. So how do we solve or how do we um, graph an inequality? Well, what you need to do is go to this number here, 8. Okay. So I'm going to say, let's say this is 8 on the number line. You go to it, you just plop, put an 8 down there, plop it down like that, and you draw a circle. Because this is the way I'm teaching it to you. Your your teacher probably will teach you in a, this in a very similar manner. So you, you um, draw a circle. Now, you have to ask yourselves what this is what this is saying to us. X is less than or equal to eight. Numbers, the numbers X are less than or equal to eight. So where where are numbers um, that are less than eight located? To the left or right of eight? Okay. Well to the left, right? Like zero is less than eight. So all of these numbers here, this is what we do, we draw a line going to the left with an arrow, all, all less than eight. Now the last part of this is when we have these inequality symbols that are less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, when we draw our circle, what we need to do is fill in the circle to indicate the equal to part. Okay? So this is it. This is the graph of x is less than or equal to 8, and it would represent the solution to this inequality. All right, now this is a real basic inequality. There's a lot more um, to solving inequalities or some other things we need to discuss about dividing both sides of the inequality by negative numbers, etc. But hopefully this will get you going. Uh, the main thing I want you to um, kind of take away from this is that solving linear inequalities are very much like solving equations. All right, so hopefully this video helps you out. Come on over to algebratesthelper.com. We've got tons of uh, free videos and other um, uh, resources all designed to make math easy to learn. All right, so take care and good luck.